India is a country of over 1.3 billion people with a vast and diverse healthcare system. Healthcare is delivered in India at the public and the private level. As with everything, it comes with its strengths and weaknesses. The public sector is run by the government and provides low cost of free healthcare services to the public. This can be related to the camps you visit where you treat the patients to the best of your ability free of charge. Although public healthcare serves millions of people, it occasionally suffers from understaffing and underfunding, which results in lengthy wait times and lack of resources. This can be circled back to our example of dental camps, where we cannot provide for patients needing an implant or a crown, as these are expensive and way beyond the set budget for the set camps. The public health sector can be studied under three headings primary healthcare, hospitals, and health insurance schemes. Primary healthcare is further divided into village level workers, sub centers, and primary health centers. We will learn more about this in the upcoming video. Next, the hospitals can be in the form of community health centers, rural hospitals, district hospitals, specialist hospitals, and lastly, teaching hospitals. Talking about community health centers, these are designed to provide healthcare for those people who were referred from the primary health centers due to better treatment available here. Each CHC will serve as a referral center for four primary healthcare centers. From your neat exam perspective, remember at present there are 5335 community health centers in India. Rural hospitals are basically dispensaries in rural areas which provide traditional systems of medicine. It's on our government's agenda to try and upgrade these hospitals to primary health centers as soon as possible. Next, the district hospitals aim at providing secondary healthcare services to the people in a district at an acceptable quality alongside being responsive to the needs of people and the referring centers. As how we discussed earlier that the community health centers are the primary referral centers where people are referred to from the primary health centers, these district hospitals will serve as the secondary referral centers. Coming to health insurance schemes, we have employee state insurance, the central government health scheme and the universal health insurance scheme. The employee state insurance scheme was launched in the year 1948, a year after we got our independence. This insurance is a social security scheme which will protect workers and their families in cases of sickness, maternity, disablement or death due to an employment injury or occupational hazard. Suppose a construction worker lost his limb due to an accident on site and is no more able to continue in the same line of work due to his disability. This scheme will help him and his family with monetary funds. The central government health scheme, as is obvious, has an objective of providing healthcare comprehensively to central government employees and their family members. It was set up in 1954 under the Indian Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. This scheme mainly provides services through allopathic, homeopathic as well as the Indian system of medicine. Have you heard your house help mention having a BPL card? Have you ever wondered what these cards stood for? Well, these BPL cards or below poverty line cards are given to those families which fall under the Universal Health Insurance Scheme. It was launched in the year 2003. Note here this scheme is not designed to cover any poor family on the streets, but only those who are members of some group or cooperative societies like BD workers, handloom workers, etc. After the public sector, we have the private sector. It can be either in the form of nursing homes, dispensaries, or private practices like setting up your own dental clinic or hospitals. We can also have general practitioners included under this category. These are more common in the urban region and hence constitute about 70% of the medical profession. But the main drawback of this sector is that the treatment is very expensive here and hence is only available to those who can pay for it. Now, other than the private and public sectors, we also have other divisions of healthcare in our country. We have voluntary health agencies that mainly hold meetings and collect funds for support, mostly from the private sector, and conduct programs which primarily aim at furthering public health by providing healthcare services and educating the public alongside. Such agencies include the Bharat Sevak Samaj and the Kasturba Memorial Fund. 
the government of india for the prevention and control of diseases also launches nationwide health programs which focus on other aspects like family planning sanitation and nutrition a couple of programs that you could have heard of could be any vaccination program like that of polio or covid national aids control program iodine deficiency program and anti malaria programs the fifth and last sector is the indigenous system of medicine which focuses mainly on ayush or ayurveda yoga unani siddha and homeopathy we have already discussed this in detail in our previous video to quickly recap the health sectors in our country can be broadly divided into five categories the public and private sectors being the primary ones while the others include the voluntary health agencies national health programs and the indigenous system of medicine in recent years the government has focused on improving the healthcare sector increasing funding and expanding access to care with continued investment and innovation India's healthcare sector will continue to improve providing better health outcomes for all For more such videos download our app and watch videos seamlessly and learn through visually engaging mind maps we hope we made public health dentistry slightly better for you please like share and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next one